Okay, this is how we do it. Pull up and we kill them on arrival. That's a drive by. Call a Uber cause we live. And you know it's pretty as we staying all the way on the west side. That's the best side. It's true to come through. Welcome back to our YouTube channel. If you're new here, you're most welcome. My name is Achol. So I'm back with another tutorial for today. I want to do a bronze goddess kind of makeup. I don't know if I'll be able to pull that off with whatever that I have, but there's no harm in trying. With no further ado, let's get right in into this video and do what we do best. Yeah, I'm not I'm 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 not saying I'm a makeup artist, I'm not saying I know all this thing, but I believe in what I do and uh, I believe that I do it best. As you can see, I've done my eyebrows off camera, I've also prepped my skin off camera, I've primed it and I've also prepped my eyelids off camera using the concealer that I was using to clean my eyebrows so I dragged it down to my eyelids. I think that's what you guys do, right? Because that's what I do. So to prevent it from creasing more. Because I can see it's kind of creasing, I have to like set it using my Sata Buttercup powder. It really helps. I don't do my eyeshadow before my my foundation. I don't know why, but today I can try. I can try and do that. I'm so excited to be trying out this palette. I bought it and I've not used it before. It has amazing, amazing shades. As you can see, they are to die for, I know. It's called Seduce Me Palette. For my transition shade, I will use this shade that is kind of, kind of brownish, kind of orangish. I don't know. <coughs> this shade, this shade right here, it's called a more Oh, I have a friend that is called Amora. Hi, baby girl. I hope you're doing all right. She's my biggest supporter. And I love you. I'll use this. Can you guys see how pigmented this shade is? Like, one touch and it's all over. And if you want your eyeshadow to pop, you just always need to blend and blend and blend and you feel like if your eyeshadow pigmentation is not showing as much as mine you just need to build it up yeah put more layers but don't just put a layer on top of another layer on top of another layer without blending blending is the key to a perfect eyeshadow look and then go in with this shade, the dark brown shade. It's called Bite Me. This one. Another good tip for a better eyeshadow is use different brushes. Like, don't mix the brushes because the shade you will use as your transition shade most of the time is not the same as the one you will put on your eyelids. It's all blended out and the next thing is to use this shade called Romance. I, I don't know if you guys can see it. This this shade right here. So I'm done doing my wing liner and my lashes off camera the next thing is to snatch this face so as always i'm using my i'm using my mary Kay, my mary Kay foundation this thing got me for days it's one of my best foundation but since we all want to glow we want something that is kind of a goddess look i have to use my iconic london illuminator to make things extra but you know i'm extra <laughs> why not why not let me drag it out my neck why not let's be extra let's be extra i look like a clown the next thing is this foundation. I'll put it on the back of my hand. You 
need this, you need a setting spray. Makes work easy. And to achieve a good a good foundation outcome, baby girl just blend. Blend. Anyway, the next thing is the next thing I'll be doing is use my Usher's concealer to conceal my face. I just hope it comes out nice. My fingers are crossed that this makeup tutorial will be nice since i've used a lot of the illuminator i will use less concealer on my face because i don't want my face to be so tacky and get cakey yeah i don't want to look like a clown so a little bit will go a long way so right back in with the same beauty blender that i used to blend this The next thing is to set my highlights. I'm setting the places that I use to concealer. The next thing is to contour my face. I want to make this cheekbones pop, you know? To control, I will go in with my Prestige eyeshadow palette. I will use this dark brown shade to control my face. I don't want too much. step is to wipe off all this all this setting powder and to make it now much much better is use this Pauline cosmetic compact powder to go all over my face and to bring back the shade of my foundation the shade of my highlighter is it highlight of the shade of my concealer because with all the settings powder all over my face I look pale and that should not be the case the contouring shade should not be seen like you should blend this the line is not supposed to be seen right here you blend it like I say makeup needs your patience you need to be patient with it to get what you want. But come up on Araka. It's not for you. Once I feel like I have too much highlighter on my face, the one thing I do is go back in with my damp beauty blender, the one that I use to apply my foundation, and just dab over it to get the kind of amount that I get so that it's not so shouting that I have this highlighter on my face. Can you see it? Like, can you see how good it looks? This video is trash 
this is the last time you are watching a trash video <laughs> like if the quality is not nice that is what i mean not trash trash before i can do my lips i need to go in with my setting spray i'm so excited today Hello. But I feel so good. I feel amazing. So today I'm using this NAS waterproof lip liner and my Kylie Kylie Mate liquid lipstick. This is the kind of shade I want, but with a gloss on it. I am done with the gloss, baby. I am done. Look at my lips. Look at me. Check me out. I love the outcome as much as the sun has kind of disappointed me. I am satisfied. So with all this that we have done, I'm so sure we've done this together because your patience sitting and watching all this gives me the motivation to go on so my loves if you want to follow me on instagram snapchat and facebook i will leave my username on the description box down below and you follow me to get to know more about me and about our channel and with all that said i think we've come to the end of this tutorial i really don't want to leave you guys do not forget to turn on your notification bell to be notified whenever we upload and if you've not subscribed yet please do that and share our link if possible give it a thumbs up and we will really appreciate it. we love you so very much bye Rodriguez.